turn 91, March 7th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage I can do to Helson. All right. We ought to flip and capture that base. Another damn sub. Gato. I remember as a kid playing that computer game. All right. Well, we didn't fail, we didn't fail the damage it, but we spotted it. It didn't spot us. So as long as it doesn't, you know, I'm I'm happy with that result. Keep it keep it out of the way, and it doesn't attack us. Day phase. Oh, I was a little worried there. We gotta do some damage on this guy. There we go. Damage torpedo tubes. Nice. That could easily send him home. Nice. Wasn't a direct hit, but enough to damage some torpedo tubes. So maybe he'll maybe he'll go home now. Sub's worth us if it can't fire torpedoes. Sounds like somebody got killed by some cap. Of course, bad weather, bad weather, bad weather. Ah, no one's here. Wasn't sure if there would be or not. And no one flying cap over his tanks either. Okay. Bomber should have clear and clear runs. Bombing uh, the troops from Wenchow. All right, bomb in Batavia. Bomb in Baton. Still bad weather there, not many hits. All right, here we go, bomb in the British tanks. Let's get some good strikes. Another strike on the tanks. Nope. And a third strike. Nothing. Fourth strike? Wow. Nope. Well, we at least slowed them down some. Not a whole lot because they're, uh, they're vehicles. All right, we're bombing Clark Field. All right, we lost to Sonya for six hits in the light rain. Another strike at Clark. We got 10 hits and one supply hit. All right. Ah, uh, damn it.
That's gonna be men in the drink. I was flying. I. Oh, I don't think they had the range to cover him. This is my fault. I had long range cap on these guys, and I don't think they have the range to get to get to get to 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 Dilly. Damn it! These little mistakes that are that are killing me in this game. All right, that's the morning phase. Ally PT boat? I don't think so. We just cannot hurt this guy. Not enough bombs. Need more bombs. Damn it. Oh, that's both of the ships damaged. How do these guys get two or three, two strikes, you know, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, every time? So he didn't bomb me and I still lose ground forces. That's funny. All right, at least the airstrikes are over. Let's get some movement done. Let's maybe kill some subs. That doesn't happen very often as, uh, as Japan. Alright. Alright, troops are moving. Now we have some combat here, right? Alright. Speed on all these. Look at those. Look at the two cores of base force and a construction regiment. S nope, still they're not crying up. How did we get 71 casualties? Wow. That's just crazy. The barman at Clark. <coughs> Probably won't do much damage. Nope. Allied shock attack. Yeah, I have more men here than last time, guys. One to 99. He got mauled. But he does get to see my uh, fort level. I'm surprised these guys aren't dead yet. And they retreated. <laughs> Alright, base expansions. Then we'll go into production. And when that's done, I'll pause the video, grab a save, and get some data. Get some data. Then we'll come back and go through the after action. Although there's not a whole lot because it's another slow turn. Alrighty, another basically a slow turn in the war against Helsin. Let's go over some stats here. We went up 12 points. The Allies went up 4. Allies lost 2 planes and ops. We lost 2 to flak, 2 to ops. 
If we'll take a look at these. See, we lost a Sonya to Flack, and a Babs to Flack. We lost a, a Sally to Ops, and a Vow to Ops, and he lost a Wildcat and a DC-2. So we lost four aircraft, two dead pilots. All right. That's still, that's way too high. All right, incoming aircraft for us for a week before we get anything. No ships were sunk last turn. So let's go ahead and take a see what, what's coming. We got 56 days to the Junio, 84 days to the Uno. And we get, we get a smattering of subs, destroyers, uh, amphibious ships, support ships, merchy ships between now and then. But nothing else of really, really any, any, any huge, huge worth. On the ground, two days to we get a bunch of port units, a base unit, and a tank regiment. Unfortunately, that tank regiment was one that was destroyed, so we, when we get it back at Tokyo, we have to buy it back, and it'll come in with one of each device. So it'll take a while to fill itself back out to be, to be useful. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at production. Engines and aircraft. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got 15, 26, 38, 40 engines. Three zeros, two Oscars, two Sallys. One of everything else. All right. Take a look at devices. Let's see, 55 engineers, 23 AV, 17 support. Then we're down to the engine, some mines, some marines. Our, our tanks, and then back into the basic stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and pop up. Oh, I really hate when it does this. I don't know why it hates me when it does this. Here we go. Let's pop up Combat Reporter. All right, at sea, we had some sub action. Up north, we had a, we found an enemy sub near near uh, Tavoy. We we saw it. We we didn't, we didn't really attack it, but we did spot it, so that makes it good. So we don't get attacked. All right, and near Ketapang, we came across another enemy sub. Um, this one we did get one damage in. And we damaged their torpedo tube, so hopefully they'll hopefully they will go home. Another one here, back down in Java. We ran over him. We attacked. No, we didn't hit him, but he didn't he didn't hit us either. Alrighty, then on on the ground, Rabal. They came in and he had shot the tactics, the remnants of the Rabal uh, Allied forces. Um, they were in op, wrong op mode, shock attack. I mean, we weren't prepared or we have low experience, but we had terrain and we have a lot more uh, assault value than they do. They lost 390 people. And the best part is they retreated back to the hex again. At Hang Chao, we attacked the, uh, the beat up Chinese units there. Um, we took some casualties this time. I'm very surprised, but we did inflict 700 casualties upon them and we destroyed one of their units. At Clark, we bombarded again. Say the same old, same old there in the air. Um, other than the P, other than Catalinas and some B-25s, I think it was that attacked our uh, ships at uh, at uh, Dilly. Um, the Allied did no real attacks. I thought I had long range cover over these guys, but apparently either the weather prevented them or I I screwed something up because they had no cover. And they landed three hits on that guy. What is it? B-25s came in and missed. And in the afternoon, they came back. They got one bomb hit on that guy. And the Kylie came back and, and then they they missed. So we took four four bomb hits that may have been, been preventable. We swept the skies over Rangoon. No one was home. We swept the skies over the 7th Armored Brigade. No one was there either. Then we proceeded to bomb it a bunch. Probably 150 or so Sallies in, in various waves hit the hit those guys, but very minimal uh, damage. 
And of course, we we bombed our our normal Chinese units. We hit Bataan, Clark Field. We hit Batavia Port, and we bombed some troops over in Sumatra. Signal intelligence. Let's see, Nomia Pearl Pearl, one forty five, one seventy six. That's deep southeast Pacific. Yeah. And then that's off map, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then ops report. All right. Let's see what we got here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Our AMC 6, uh, A6M5C0 advances a month to 944. Those, we have all five of those uh, factories repaired. Those will be advancing 10 a day. So we'll start seeing a lot more of those. Let's see. Task forces, some Marines. Sightings, all the allied, allied ship ones are lies. Yeah, there's eight allied ships off the coast of Nagasaki. Okay, yeah. Replacements, we've got one Glen in the pipeline. A base force takes some replacements. One aircraft down for maintenance. We captured one base, we auto flipped it. Intelligence, let's see, allied expanded two airfields. We expanded three. Bunch of aircraft damage on on from on landing, and we get a report that a uh, harbor defense motor launch was sunk near Batavia on Mar March fifth. All right, not really much else there. Let's hop back to the map and let's go around the world here. All right, up in Burma, not much is going on. He pulled all his fighters out of Rangoon back up to Alashio. We do have our massive stack here. It will be in Rangoon tomorrow. Next turn. So he has about a thousand assault strength here. We're coming in with basically 2,000. Should be good. I also got the Thai unit moving up. And we also got more units to the south coming up as well. Looks like he's moving those tanks down to the south. They're going to probably get into Rangoon. What I would love to do is let that happen and then get a unit up here and then block them in so they can't retreat. Then I can destroy them all. It might take a little bit longer, but I should be able, able to do it. Let's see, we got some a piece of a guard unit coming up there, just to uh, support staff. Those are anti-tank units. And one of these guys has some guards regiment and and the six guards division as well. The rest of it there. Well, next turn we will land at Port Blair. Supplies will get to Bangkok down in the Malaya. Here we have more troops heading north. We got empty empty amphibs coming south. We have arrived at Jajambi with our tanks and we will crush whatever this unit is here. I'm gonna go ahead and order a shock attack. Just so we can crush them. Surprised we didn't shock attack moving in. We crossed the, a, a river, unless we were just powerful enough that we didn't have to. <clears throat> we're hauling some fuel in that out of Palembang now. Calling resources out of a couple little bases. We got supplies and more men heading to uh, Java. We got our first uh, refill of supplies here. Looks like we've dumped off almost 1,500 supplies. Yeah, it's gone from red to, to, to yellow, which is good. We have more coming down here for them. There's an enemy sub right here. We're coming down here to try to get rid of, rid of these mines, so our next ships are a little bit, a little bit safer. In Borneo, not much is going on here other than dropping, dropping more supplies off at uh, at uh, at the Miri, which are feeding over in, in, into Brunei. So we're slowly repairing oil here. Nothing going on in the Philippines. 
down in the DEI. Nothing really going on. We're just consolidating our ships and getting our units in, in a row. Let's take a look at our damage here. We got one LSD heavily damaged. The worst part is the fire. He's going to burn to the water line, I think. He's gonna, I'm thinking I'm going to leave him here and have him un, unload. <clears throat> he has part of a naval guard on there. The rest of these guys are going to move. I need to make sure I just get my uh, long-range cap set up properly. Picking up all the oil we have here. Go ahead down into the New Guinea, New Britain, Solomon area. Nothing really going on here. We, we captured Terpo, which kind of he has not much left here other than Wayu, Wayu, Wayu. Wow, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But that's in, that's not a, a port at all, so we'll have to we'll have to walk into that, and we're gonna have to. There's those men who attacked us; they retreated back. I think one more time, and they'll be dead. Coming down into the, the South Pacific, I'm pretty sure he spotted me. Yep. These these guys spotted. No, his the, the range on that has diminished. Okay. I am curious as to what this what these guys are. See our subs are getting into position. This guy's still spotted, isn't he? Oh nope, he is not spotted anymore. Okay, good. Then back up through the marshals, nothing going on. Truck as usual is busy hive. Resources coming going out, supplies and fuel and troops coming in. Troops also going out with supplies. Um, finally, supplies have arrived at various bases in the Marianas, and we're unloading now. We also have some troops coming down. That's a guy heading back with resources. Those are troops. Nope. Empty going home. <clears throat> All right. And our picket ships. Let's take a look at those. We got light rain. Light rain. That's a pair. Overcast. Severe storms. Overcast. We got two of a kind. Nice. Resource and oil convoys, resource convoys, uh, mostly just empty task force here, holding uh, task force numbers, same as at most all these at Tokyo. And then into China. All of our men have escaped Chang Chang Changte. So that's nice. We will get them all, all moving back up to Ai Chang and then probably down to uh, Hankou. Well, I forgot where I what I how what I want to try next. I want to try to keep my tanks in useful territory, so like open terrain may, maybe. Just not sure how to get them where I where I want them. Cuz a lot of this stuff is not open. But in the north we're going good. We got these guys sneaking up along the road and the trail to see what's up here. And when we take this dot base, he will know we're here. But I plan on sneaking this guy all the way up here and maybe then head then head head across. There shouldn't be a whole lot of stuff up in these ba bases. Although really, not, those two aren't worth taking. That's not worth taking. That's not... I know Arumchi has oil, but it's almost impossible to get that oil out of there. <clears throat> Without having like land chow and stuff, you have to multi-base hop it. Cause I've taken all of this to the north before, and the oil just sit, just sits there, and never moves, because nothing up here draws it. I think I'd have to take Lan Chao for the refineries to 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 uh, draw it. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. <clears throat> I got a little frog in my throat again. Sorry about that. But if you enjoyed watching the turn unfold, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following along this campaign or my campaign against Lodric and you have not subscribed, please just go ahead and hit that subscription button. Then then you won't the then won't the then when I say this every video, you know it doesn't uh, uh, pertain to you. But until the next turn, you guys have yourself a great day and I'll see you later.